Now, if you're a WordPress user and you're either on Cloudwise or thinking of going on Cloudwise to host your website or to run your business websites, your SMBs, or your freelancing business, then this new feature that recently rolled out is going to make you incredibly happy. We all know that when it comes to WordPress, updates can be the bane of our lives and anything that can help the process of making that simpler and a lot less stressful is going to be a good thing. Now, before we take a quick look at this, let me just quickly say this is a sponsored video by Cloudways. But as always, I'm not going to give you any opinions. I'm simply going to demonstrate how these features work and then you can make a more informed decision for yourself. So I've gone ahead, logged into my Cloudways account, and we're going to quickly spin up a new server. So we're starting basically from scratch. So to do that, we're simply going to click on Add Server. We've then got the option to choose a couple of things. First of all, we can choose the application we want to install. In our example, we're going to be using WordPress. So let's select that. We'll say WordPress version 6, but you can choose other options if you want to with Cloudways. We'll choose that from there. We'll give this a name. We'll name our server. And if you want to, you can select your projects. We're going to leave that blank. Underneath then, we've got a choice of different server types. We've got DigitalOcean, Vulture, and so on. Choose whichever is relevant to you or your preference. And clicking on any of these will give you more information about it. And you can click on the little eye in the corner to get even more information again. For our example, we're going to stick with DigitalOcean. Underneath then, we can choose our server size. And this allows us to scale or push back any kind of server setup we want. Now, don't worry if this is all gobbledygook to you. It's incredibly simple, and you can change this at any point in the future. For example, we're going to set this to be a one gigabyte server on the premium option for DigitalOcean. You can see underneath now, it tells us how much this is going to cost us. And if we ramp this up, you'll see, again, it updates and tells us any costs involved. Let's set this to be the one gigabyte premium option. We can then choose the location of our server. For this example, I'm in the UK, so I'm going to choose London, but you can choose whatever works best for you, for the nearest location to you or your audience. We'll choose London, and then we're going to go ahead and click on Launch now. This will then take a few minutes to go ahead and set things up. Once that's completed, we'll have our server online, and we're ready to move on to the next step. So after a few minutes, we now have our new server all set up and running. We also have one application or WordPress installed on there, which we set up right at the beginning. So we go over to Applications. You can see inside there, there's our safe updates, which is the website we just created. If we click to open that up, there's all of the information about that particular site. If we hop over into the dashboard for that particular website, you can see we've got some updates inside there. Everything is set up exactly as you'd expect it to be. So now let's take a look at that safe updates feature. Let's hop back over into the server settings. Let's come down into this particular application. And as you can see at the bottom, we have safe updates. If we click and open that up inside there, we now have information about what safe updates is, the features, and also the pricing associated with it. So first of all, let's take a quick look at the pricing. You can see for up to five applications, in other words, up to five websites, it's going to cost us $3 a month to have this feature. Once you go over that, that drops to $2 a month. So it's relatively cheap for what you want it to do and the peace of mind that it can give you. So now we've seen the pricing, let's take a look at what is available and then we'll see how we can set it all up. So to get started, let's click on Activate Safe Updates. And that's going to go ahead now and set up all the details we need for our safe updates. Then we can configure it and see how it all works. Now just bear in mind that this is going to be on a per application basis. In other words, per website basis. This isn't something that's applied across your entire server. So once we've chosen the safe updates, you can see this gives us now a range of different things on what we can do. We can choose between on-demand updates, so we can manually trigger these when we want to. We can go ahead and set up a schedule, and we can also take a look at the history of any of the safe updates, any on-demand or schedule things that have been done, and also any issues that may arise during the process. So if we take a under look underneath, you can see on-demand, this tells us WordPress core, We've got the theme or themes we've got installed and also any plugins we have. You can see it tells us version number and the current version number that's installed. So we can see if there are any updates all inside this one location. So we don't need to go ahead and log into sites to do this. So as you can see, there's a couple of different things we need to update. So we can, if we want to, just simply go ahead, check the ones that we want, click on update. And that's now going to go ahead and build up the process. Now, this is the important part of it. This is what's actually going on behind the scenes to give you that peace of mind. 
is first of all going to create a staging site of our existing site, push that over on the same server. So you've got a staging site, nothing is being done on the actual live site itself. Next up, it's going to sync all the data between the live site and that staging site. It's then going to update the staging version of your site, test everything out, make sure everything is working fine, validate all those updates and anything else that's being set up to do. And then finally, it'll update the production site only if it finds everything has worked perfectly. So this gives you peace of mind knowing that it's all being done on a stage inside it's all going to be verified and only if everything is working correctly will it then be pushed back over to your actual live site and then the stage site will be removed so it's an incredibly simple way of working but it takes a ton of stress off you as a user having to do all this manually so we'll let that run through the whole process and then we'll take a look at the log that comes up and then we'll see how you can set up scheduling to just tie all this into a manual or automated process. As you go through and it gets the update in the staging site, you can see exactly what's going on. Speed test results, network errors, WordPress error log, taking a screenshot and comparing those screenshots just to make sure everything is being set up and working the way we expect it to. While it's done that, so then we want to validate it and then finally is going to update our live production site, providing everything is all OK. And there we go. After a little bit of a wait, we now have our safe update all completed. So let's go ahead and just log into our website. We'll refresh this now just to make sure that all our updates are done. And as you can see, everything is now up to date and completed with total peace of mind. If we come back over into our application server, if we come into the history. You can see this now gives us information about exactly what's happened. So if we click on the view details, this will now tell us what we did. Two plugins updated and you can say the application has been updated. So everything has been successfully updated for us with no involvement from our part. So let's close out of this. And let's take a look at the schedule option. So inside there, you can see we can enable or disable automatic scheduling. So let's enable that. And now we can go ahead and we can choose exactly when and where we want things to happen. So you can see we can choose a specific day of the week, Monday through to Sunday. We've also got the option then for the time we want to set this up. Configure the update list. So if we click on the custom update list, this allows us to go through and choose what we do or don't want to update. So if you have specific things inside your WordPress configuration, you don't want to update automatically, you can disable those or you can kind of let everything go ahead and proceed with everything. You can then go ahead and choose what you want to happen in the eventuality of various different things. So for example, you can see we've got our notification email, which we can change to whatever we want. We've got pre notification. This will tell us when there's a schedule update, a schedule safe update to be carried out. You can see we'll then choose the option to be notified when it's actually gone ahead and completed successfully, or if there's been a problem and the whole process of safe updating has had to be aborted, we could also enable the email to be sent out there. So this is something you may want to do for yourself if you're managing this for clients as part of your agency or freelance business, or if you are the client yourself, you can set this up to come through to your email address, whatever you want to set up. Then once you've done that, you simply go ahead, click save changes, and then that will carry out the safe update process in the background at the day and time and send any emails and update any of the features that you choose as part of your safe update setup. It's as simple as that. The whole process is incredibly simple and easy and just gives you that peace of mind. So as always, you can find all the applicable links and information down in the description below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts and until next time, take care.